First, grab the band wheel by a spoke in a vise, being careful to pinch only the spoke. You don't want to crush the rim of the wheel. Next, put the H bushing in the wheel center, noting that it can only go in from one side. When doing the drive wheel, put the provided key stock in the keyway first in the shaft. Then slide the shaft into the bushing from the rear. We want the shaft to stick out the front by 2 and 5 eighths inches. When positioned correctly, lightly tighten the two bolts, alternating back and forth. Now slide the 1 inch thick spacer on from the rear and the 5 8 thick one on from the front. Wipe the shafts off. Make sure the two set screws are backed out enough that they don't stick into the bore of the bearing and then clean out the bearing. When installing the bearing, don't force it. Gently rock it back and forth and slide it onto the shaft. Lightly tighten one set screw to hold the bearing in place. Now slide the front bearing on. Pull the bearing out about a quarter inch forward and lightly tighten one set screw. Next, position the wheel assembly on a saw frame or something similar and clamp each bearing down. If you have a dial indicator, position it to read off the wheel rim. If not, clamp a straight edge so that it almost touches the rim. You can then observe whether the wheel wobbles or not. Alternate between the two bolts, tightening one and then the other. Watch your indicator and observe how it changes when you tighten the bolt. The goal is to get the bolts medium tight and the wheel tracking as close to straight as possible. You should get the wobble down to less than 20 thousandths of deviation. Remember the goal is not to get the bushing tight against the band wheel, but to get the wheel true and the bolts medium tight. The next step is to glue the bearings to the shaft. Using the red thread locker prevents the bearings from slipping on the shafts. Move the bearing out and apply red liquid to the shaft. Twist the bearing back and forth as you slide it back in place to help evenly coat the shaft. Now using the blue thread locker, lock the two set screws tight. Repeat the process then on the other bearing. Mask the shaft in and this wheel is ready to paint. The idler band wheel is treated the same as the drive wheel. It doesn't, however, require a key, so just slip the shaft in until 2 and 5 eighths is exposed. 